In the U.S., women earn on average 24% less than men. Can we blame that on discrimination or is there more to it? Warren Farrell is the author of Why Men Earn More, the startling truth behind the pay gap and what women can do about it. Great to have you with us. It's wonderful to be with you. I've been enjoying your uh, interview. Uh, well, I think one of the most uh, interesting things you've said, because you, you not only debunk some of the statistics around that, so we, we can't say women doctors make less than male doctors if we don't point out that there are more male surgeons than women, but it's that you're suggesting women are choosing it. It's actually a, a choice that we make along the way. Can you explain that? Well, I'm, I'm saying that there is really 25 choices that men and women have, and every choice that men in general tend to make leads to men earning more money, and every choice that women make tends to them lead, having a balance, more likely to have a balanced life, which on average is a happier life. And so really men should be learning from women uh, what they can do to sort of uh, have a more balanced life. And so, for example, we, we, you, you mentioned about the doctors. Um, we, think, we think that there's a, the gap in pay between men and women. It's actually a gap in pay between married men and married women who have children. So, for example, never married women who have never had children, they earn 17% more than never married men who have never, never had children, even when you have the same number of years working, the same amount of education, the same number of hours per week worked. And so the, the discrimination is not about gender per se, and that's very important to remember because yeah. then it frees women up to say, you know, what can I, what are the things that I can do and what are the trade-offs to those things? The, the road to pay, high pay is a toll road mostly, so you don't want to go into it blind without a knowledge of the trade-offs. So doesn't that tell me exactly what's happening here? The lifetime earning value of a woman that has children is anecdotally and obviously from your, your information it's going to be less because that person decides and elects on their own and for the benefit of the family to stay at home and raise the children. And of course that's the right decision to make. So money has one, it doesn't really have anything to do with it. It's their personal decision that I want to raise children. That can take three, six, nine years depending on how many they have. And that's why they don't earn yes. as much money. We don't have to worry about well, it anymore. And, and that's a, really a family decision. And remember, when a woman who is married to a man, um, then, then, that, then that income of the man becomes her income as well. And so it's not like she isn't earning money. She's just earning it from a different source. And so the, uh, and so the, the more a woman works um, outside of the home, the, man, the, the more the man, on, on average, tends to participate in housework and child care and the less he earns. The less she works, the more he earns. So families tend on average, this is all aggregate data, um, it, it, families earn, tend on average to figure out what works for them. It's really a value system choice about the balancing of work and the balancing of family. And one of the problems that Warren is, uh, it's great news that it's not some kind of mass conspiracy. And as you point out, if you could get a woman for 75 cents to a man's dollar to do the same work, wouldn't everybody do that? The problem is exactly. women have to have the kids. It's just the biological imperative. And presumably there's a collective good in continuing to populate our planet. Uh, so mm -hmm. how do we solve for that? Because we know businesses want diversity and they certainly want to stop training up women for years and years and then have them disappear into their family life and step back from their professional life. Ex really excellent question. And what women should know, one of the uh, one of the research things I did was a, for a book called uh, Father and Child Reunion. In the process of researching that, I discovered that the that children who are raised at home uh, with dad as the primary um, caretaker do extremely well, on average, better than any other demographic of children. Conversely, women who focus fully on the workplace do extremely well. Women are, are more likely, if they're focused on the workplace to, and work uh, significant numbers of hours, to be promoted to executive levels much more quickly than their male counterparts working about the same number of hours. These are things that we haven't discovered and known, and so therefore we've lost opportunities for women. Very few people know that female sales engineers earn 141% of what male sales engineers earn partially because women are so good at communicating and when they're also they have backgrounds like like um, engineering backgrounds they, they combine those skill sets and usually, and usually do significantly better than their male counterparts so uh, female pharmacists do extremely well so we have to open up to my daughters and daughters around the world that yeah. you know that there are plenty of opportunities out there to do well um, if we don't just look at the world through the filter of discrimination all right. We've got to leave it there. It's a fascinating subject. We appreciate your time today, Warren. Absolutely. Warren Thank you. Farrell, the book is called Why Men Earn More, The Startling Truth Behind the Pay Gap and What Women Can Do About It.